What's up everybody? Right away you might notice that the backdrop's a little different, the set is different. I'm in the process of trying to figure out what the set is going to be. The room in which the set used to be is currently being used for something else. Uh, so we'll talk more about that later. I think it was about two winter semesters ago, or spring semesters, depending on how your school might call it, that I started feeling really depressed. I, I was really struggling and had a hard time for quite a while, probably the whole semester and beyond. So first off, I want to say that a lot of different types of things can cause depression. So this video is not necessarily going to give you the one and only answer. We have other videos that kind of talk about possibly different reasons that might be causing depression, so you can check those out if you want. And if none of our videos help, then I just want you to know that things can and do get better, and if you need help, to to find help, but things can get better. It, this feeling that you're possibly feeling right now, uh, from my experience, that does not last forever, and so I hope that you're encouraged by what I'm about to share with you, and maybe this will help a little. So in this particular circumstance with depression, I was extremely busy. Um, I was working multiple jobs, and that school semester, my class load was crazy, uh, and the amount of stuff I had to do initially was very overwhelming. At first, I was overwhelmed. I didn't even know how I was going to handle all of this, but as time went on, I didn't so much feel overwhelmed as I began to just feel kind of apathetic or lifeless like a zombie almost just half living uh, as I trudged through life I was tired and just lifeless I don't know how else to explain it as I said before things did get better and God took me through it but I'm glad that I went through that process because I think I learned something really important and that's what I'm going to share here. Before I start, I realize that people come from a lot of different areas, but where I come from, a common idiom, it, it's common in cultures to like live by certain idioms and one thing that is said a lot around where I come from and that I think a lot of people hold this mentality is the idea of working for a living. And I want you to kind of think about that phrase, working for a living. And I understand what it means, but think about the wording on that. I'll touch on that a little bit later. Those of you who have been around for this channel for a while know that I'm a nerd, so I'm going to use a gaming analogy here. In the last year, I've played at least two games that would be considered an open world game, meaning you explore a lot, and it's just very big, sandbox-like, and you can just kind of explore and discover new things and kind of do what you want. It's a little more open than other games. Now, I liked both games. I liked one much more than the other. One of the games handled the quests a lot better than the other in my opinion and so let's talk about the first game you pick up a quest so you might talk to somebody and they have a quest for you and then you can activate that quest and the way this game worked is you would activate a quest and it would put a marker on your map where you were supposed to go and you would go all the way to that marker um, in one particular instance I had to harvest green beans or something so you you put it on you go you get a green bean then the marker goes all the way back to the person where you had gotten the quest from. You go all the way back, you turn it in, you get some EXP, which is experience, so you can get stronger and grow and progress and get better in the game. And that's just kind of how the quests worked. Like, you have to go here, after you go here, you have to go back. It's just sort of mundane. You do this, you do this, you do this, because you have to, because you need experience, so that eventually you can use that experience and progress the storyline but it's just sort of like tasks like boom 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 just go here do this that's it it was a grind for those of you who play games it, the quests were grinds they they just went on and on and they were kind of boring to be honest good game just some boring side quests now the other game that was open world which is 
a game that I really, really like is Zelda Breath of the Wild. As opposed to the other one, in that game, you did go do things and explore and all that, but every single moment of that game is engaging. Every moment that you're playing it matters. Every action that you do matters. You always feel like you're actively solving puzzles, and then you see something and you go explore it, and you get something and you go and use it, and it never really feels like a grind, at least until, you know, if you put a couple hundred hours into it or 150 hours or whatever then then you start to get the hang of it and there's some stuff that you can get grindy but the game is designed so it's not like that every moment's new you solve problems as they show up and it's just always fun like you can sit there and play that game for hours and it feels like you haven't played it because it's just always exciting so you might be wondering what in the world I'm getting at I realized that in my mind these two games or are sort of symbolic of two different mentalities when it comes to living life during that hard semester i wasn't really thinking about where i was right now the present i was more just kind of step by step trudging through every single day grinding through it was just like, I have to get this stuff done today, and then tomorrow this, and then tomorrow this, so that I can get this done in a week, and eventually this will lead me to getting a degree, but like I wasn't there in my mind. I was just grinding through each day. I wasn't present. Like I wasn't there. Like I was there, obviously, but it was like my heart wasn't there. My heart was just, let's get through this and push through this so that at some point in the future, life can get better by having a degree or whatever. And not being present made it hard to have joy and it made it hard to show love to other people and live a meaningful life. Now, currently, um, things are a lot better. I have a lot more joy in my heart. Especially as a substitute teacher, you really have to know how to be on your feet. So as a sub and just in life in general, my mentality right now is kind of like every day is new, every moment is new. I'm actively encountering, you know, joyous things and problems that I need God's help to tackle. I'm always just kind of engaged with what's going on each day and feel like mentally there. So let's get back to that idiom we were talking about a second ago. Working to make a living. Uh, everybody would say you have to work to make a living. But that wording is really weird because it makes it sound like you have to do work in order to achieve some degree of life living. You know, you're more alive because of the work that you do. You're working so that you can earn more aliveness as weird as that sounds we don't work so that we can have life one day or we don't work so that we can just get through it and push through it and kind of sleep through it and then eventually have joy one day work is just a part of life and we should be actively living while we're at school while we're at work everything we're doing you know we should be alive and serving god and kind of enjoying things as they come to us. Don't grind through everything so that one day you can live. I would be willing to guess that if you kind of have that mentality and that's the way that you live, then as soon as you accomplish your goal, you're probably not going to even know how to just like live joyfully. You're going to be so used to just grinding through day by day, not you know, experiencing things and being fully present that it's going to be hard for you to have joy in each moment. And the difference will be you might not actively be working towards something. So it might even feel worse. I don't know. So I guess what I'm getting at is just be present at all times. I know that's easier said than done. And to some of you, this might not make any sense at all. But to some of you, it might really make a lot of sense. Just try every day don't be sleeping through your life just live life god loves you every moment is new this journey can be fun so we should be just active and mentally there and our heart should be there no matter what we're doing even if what we're doing feels maybe like mundane or like i have to go to work every single day every day is a new day that god has given us and when we kind of realize that 
and let ourselves be there, I think that, you know, God can work in our hearts a lot more. If you have any questions, talk to me in the comments below or just talk to me in general in the comments below. I love you all. Uh, you can also go to the Discord channel to talk to some great people that are always on there. There's some different topics if you're struggling with different things. If you're struggling with depression, you might be able to find some accountability and help there. I would love that. Other than that, I love you guys. I hope that you have an awesome week and a great rest of the school semester or work year, whatever you're doing. And I hope to hear from you. Thank you.